What's a DASH diet? <laughs> The DASH diet is actually stands for the Dietary Approach to Stopping Hypertension. Oh, so that's D-A-S-H. D-A-S-H, that's correct. So and we're trying to stop hypertension with a diet. That's correct. And what's the diet like? What's it about? So really, the, this DASH diet has a, is a great way for everyone to eat, whether you have high blood pressure or not, or whether you're at risk for it. There's lots of fruits and vegetables, more so than the average recommendation. Um, there's also a good amount of dairy products and whole grains. So, and meat is certainly part of it, but lean choices. Um, the focus is really on fruits and vegetables, whole grains, and low-fat dairy. Is that because those foods have uh, low salt, or they help you lose weight, or they're just better for your health, or all the above? Kind of all the above. They also really high in potassium, and potassium is something that can kind of counteract high blood pressure sometimes in individuals. And now, do it. tell me about this. <laughs> do it. Tell me about Pritikin diet, P-R-I-T-I-K-I-N, and Mediterranean diet. I tell people they're good, are they? They are good. And they're very similar, really, to the DASH diet in that there are lots of fruits and vegetables, whole grain. The Pritikin diet is, is lower in fat. It limits to less than 10% or so of your calories from fat, so it's pretty low. But they also still have lean meats. Mediterranean diet has a lot of olive oils and unsaturated fats, which are good for your heart and otherwise. And so those are included in that as well as fish. There's less lean meats um, on, the, on the Mediterranean diet and more, again, fruits, vegetables, unsaturated fats. In one minute, tell me some bad diets. For instance, yeah, I can remember a lot of people using an Atkin diet, which was a high protein, a lot of meats and bacon and fats, but you just can't have carbohydrates. Is that bad? Well, you, you might have significant weight loss, and this, the weight loss is good because that's going to help a lot of those numbers go down. But the way we want to go about it, we need to be careful because we want to do something, first of all, we can sustain and maintain that weight loss. And some of the extreme diets that are very high in fat or protein are hard to sustain and bad on our, on our organs also. There are some other um, diets out there that maybe are, are better choices certainly with a higher unsaturated fats, lower calories is what we're trying to do, but just significant weight loss can dramatically change a lot of your cholesterol and blood pressure numbers alone. What's the best way to get an example of routine foods, breakfast, lunch, supper for Mediterranean, Pritikin, DASH diet? Can you just Google it and you can get some samples? Absolutely, yes. And then there's, there's lots of the government websites, USDA and otherwise, FDA have good sites as far as um, mentioning specific menus for DASH diet and Mediterranean diet that are great. 